Glee 710, the stars that headed toward us. Do you know what is approaching us? It is Glee 710, a star that is approaching us directly. And we're not talking about a close call. It will actually pass by our solar system, but have no fear. It will not affect us. In fact, it will pass by at a distance of approximately 16,000 astronomical units, or 240 trillion kilometers, still relatively close in astronomical terms. The diameter of the solar system is 1,921 astronomical units, so it will remain distant from us. It's like a real-life version of the film Armageddon, except instead of Bruce Willis and a team of oil drillers, we're counting on astronomers to save the day. Just kidding, but it would be an incredible sight to see. Consider why, so gather your binoculars and popcorn, because we're about to embark on a wild ride. Glee 710 Consequently, what is known about this star? Glee 710 is a small, cold red dwarf star located approximately 64 light years from Earth in the constellation Serpens. In astronomical terms, 64 light years may sound like a great distance, but it is actually quite near. In fact, it is one of the stars closest to our solar system that is on a trajectory to pass relatively nearby. The star is roughly half the magnitude of the sun and has a surface temperature of approximately 3,500 degrees Celsius, as opposed to the sun's 5,500 degrees Celsius. Despite its diminutive size, Glee 710 is a relatively active star, exhibiting regular outbursts and surface eruptions. Effects on the solar system at its closest approach, Glee 710 will be approximately 16,000 astronomical units, or approximately 240 trillion kilometers, from our solar system. This may still seem like a vast distance, but it is close enough to have significant effects on our solar system. Glee 710 is anticipated to have the greatest effect on the comets and other icy objects in the Oort Cloud, a region of space containing comets and other icy objects that orbit the Sun at distances of up to 100,000 astronomical units. It is believed that the Oort Cloud is the source of the majority of long-period comets that penetrate the inner solar system. Long-period comets are believed to originate in the Oort cloud due to their highly elliptical orbits that carry them far from the Sun. When comets approach the Sun, they heat up and discharge gas and dust, creating a coma and a tail that can be observed from Earth. Scattered disk objects, on the other hand, are believed to have been ejected from the Kuiper belt into the Oort cloud because their orbits are more circular and inclined relative to the solar system's plane. It has not been explicitly observed that the Oort cloud exists, but its properties can be inferred from the behavior of comets and other objects in the outer solar system. Numerous comets have highly elliptical orbits that cannot be explained by the gravitational influence of the known planets alone, providing evidence for its existence. It is anticipated that the passage of Glee 710 through the Oort cloud will perturb the orbits of some of these frigid objects. Some will be directed toward the inner solar system, which could result in spectacular meteor showers. Approach of Glee 710 discovered. Observations of Glee 710's motion through space provided the first indication that it was on a trajectory to pass relatively near to our solar system. Glee 710 is a high proper motion star, which means it travels across the sky relatively rapidly. A team of astronomers led by L.N. Goncharov first determined its high proper motion in 1995. Glee 710 has a proper motion of 1.47 arc seconds per year in right ascension and a proper motion of minus 0.62 arc seconds per year in declination. This means that, as seen from Earth, the star moves 1.47 arc seconds to the east and 0.62 arc seconds to the south every year. Compared to most stars in the sky, this proper motion is relatively high, but it is not exceptional. 
The motion is caused by the star's actual motion through space with respect to the Sun Glee 710 is a component of the local interstellar cloud, which is a region of space containing several nearby stars and traveling at approximately 26 kilometers per second through the Milky Way galaxy. Astronomers determined that the star is on a path that will bring it relatively near to our solar system in about 1.35 million years by analyzing its motion and trajectory. Since that time, astronomers have been anxious to learn more about the star's properties and influence on our solar system. The distance of Gliese 710 from Earth is one of the challenges of studying it. Even though it is relatively near in astronomical terms, it is too far away for current telescopes to study in detail. Nevertheless, astronomers have learned a great deal about the star through a technique known as spectroscopy. Spectroscopy is a method for analyzing the radiation emitted by a star or other celestial body. By analyzing the spectrum of the light, astronomers can determine the chemical composition, size, temperature, and other characteristics of a star. Exoplanet Gliese 710b Now one might ask, does Gliese 710 have a planet? If so, what would become of it? The affirmative. Gliese 710b is an exoplanet confirmed to orbit its star. Gliese 710b is classified as a gas giant due to its Jupiter-like bulk. It orbits its host star at a distance of 0.08 astronomical units, which is significantly closer than Mercury's orbit around the Sun. Gliese 710b is classified as a hot Jupiter due to its close proximity to its host star, which causes it to have a very high surface temperature. Gliese 710b is an important exoplanet research target because it offers the chance to investigate the atmosphere and composition of a gas giant planet in close proximity to its host star. However, Gliese 710b's close orbit and high temperature make it a poor candidate for sustaining life as we know it. If Gliese 710 were to pass through or pass close to the Oort cloud, it could potentially perturb the orbits of the comets and other frozen bodies within it. If Gliese 710b were in an orbit that intersected with the Oort cloud, the gravitational interactions between the objects in the cloud could potentially eject it from its orbit or alter its trajectory. That would mean that the star would lose its planet and become lonely, or it could capture one of the objects in the Oort cloud and claim it as its own. If Gliese 710b was sufficiently distant from the Oort cloud, it might not be affected at all. The Oort cloud is extremely immense and diffuse, and its objects are widely separated from one another, so the likelihood of a collision between Gliese 710 and any object in the cloud is extremely low. However, even a small perturbation of an object's orbit can have significant effects over extended periods of time, making it difficult to precisely predict the outcome of any interaction between Gliese 710 and the Oort cloud. Could Gliese 710 and the Sun collide? What would occur if Gliese 710 impacted the Sun? Due to their vast distances apart, the collision of two stars is an extremely uncommon occurrence. But let's play a little with scenarios. The collision would likely occur at extremely high velocities, causing the stars to merge and release a vast quantity of energy. This would result in a supernova, one of the most energetic occurrences in the universe. Supernovae emit enormous quantities of radiation in the form of gamma rays and X-rays, as well as a particle explosion wave and high-energy radiation. The energy emitted would be many times greater than the Sun's total lifetime energy output. The explosion shock wave would propagate outward from the site of impact, destroying everything in its path. If Earth were to survive the initial supernova detonation, it would be subjected to extreme temperatures and radiation, which would strip away a significant portion of its atmosphere and likely sterilize the planet. In addition to causing genetic mutations and damage to living organisms, the intense radiation would make it exceedingly difficult for life to survive. In approximately 1.35 million years, Gliese 710 is anticipated to make its closest approach to the solar system. And who knows, maybe we'll have the technology to travel to other star systems and meet our cosmic companions by then. 
Importantly, Gliese 710 is not on a collision trajectory with the solar system, and any scenarios involving its approach to the Oort cloud are purely hypothetical. Nevertheless, the study of stars such as Gliese 710 allows us to comprehend the nature and variety of the universe we inhabit. Thank you for viewing, and please subscribe for more entertaining and fascinating videos about the universe.